Hello there, welcome back to my channel. God bless you for always coming back to watch my videos. And if you are new to this channel, I'm Tessie by name. You are welcome to my channel. Happy New Year once again to you guys. So in this video, I want to share some tips that will help you to have a fruitful new year. As I've entered this new year 2023, I would like to share some tips that will help you to always be happy okay so the first point is to increase your prayer time and also study the bible a lot of people are so prayerful but when it comes to the word of god they hardly read the bible or they don't spend much time so if you are a prayerful person keep on firing if you have not been praying well it's time for you to make an amendment and you know increase your prayer life then the second point is to always go for a medical checkup. It is very important to always visit the doctor at least once in a year. You don't need to be sick before you can see a doctor, okay? A lot of people are suffering from hypertension. They don't even know. Some people are suffering from diabetes. They don't even know. Some are even suffering from infection because there is a type of infection that when you have you will be having this um, frequent urination and they think that they are diabetic so it's always important to visit a doctor at least once in a year now the third thing you have to do in this um, new year is to increase your sleeping hours it is very important the importance of quality sleep cannot be overemphasized if you're not sleeping well in a day sleep for at least eight hours it is very important know how to plan yourself know how to map out these eight hours so that you can sleep for consecutive eight hours it is very important then the next point i have here is zero expectation okay don't expect anything from anybody plan yourself well manage yourself or well, we all have seen that there is global economic recession so don't live a life that you always be in the you know position to borrow from people just be if you want to extend a helping hand do it because you want to do so don't expect something in return because when you do so you 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 feel disappointed so don't expect anything from anybody but when things come your way you appreciate and thank god then the next point here I've, i have here is rest rest is very important always create time to rest when i say rest i don't mean sleeping this time around you can be doing some things and you feel tired just feel time and feel free to relax you know lie down for some hours you feel refreshed and you know continue what um you are doing then another thing that i would like to address here is to say not anger if you are this type of person that is always angry that um any small thing you get angry as you have entered this new year tell yourself that you are the only person that can make yourself happy don't allow anybody to push you that thing that will make you to be angry always avoid them learn how to tolerate people okay learn how to manage your anger very well because when you are always angry it's you, you you won't feel happy you know? and when you are angry there are these hormones that will be releasing in your body so don't allow yourself to be the source of um health issues to yourself always be happy always be cheerful then keep to your ways it is very important as you have entered this new year don't tell somebody i'll do this for you um i will call you whatever you say always mean what you say don't make harsh promises all these things will help you to have a fruitful year then another vital point is to create time for your families and relatives always call your family members don't um be this type of person that when people don't call you you will be like i'm not calling this person this person has not been calling me so because of that i will not call always call people to know how they are doing always help your relatives the little way you can always check on them create time for your family don't be this type of person that is always busy you know and things will be spoiling in your homes the essence of this money we are making is for the betterment of our children, our husband. So when you don't have time for your children, first thing in the morning you have left, late at night you are back, your kids do not even have time to you know, tell you some things. And before you know what is happening, they will start disclosing some things that are bothering them to their friends outside. From there, they will start getting bad advice. So always create time for your family, create time for your kids, especially for the married ones. Then 
the last um but not the least is to be at peace with people anything that will make you not uh, to be quarreling every time avoid it okay then be optimistic yeah as you can see there is um global recession everywhere things are so um difficult somehow so learn how to see the brighter um side of life don't um see yourself as someone that that is in, in the most um you know difficult um situation there are some people that we are still better than so always be happy with what you have always be happy the way you see life always be cheerful and as you do so before you know what is happening you will see yourself smiling at the end of the year that is why i'm here to encourage you as we've entered a new year now that the year is still fresh sit down and consider some things that you will do in addition to what i have said so that at the end of the year we all will smile and you know say yes this year was indeed a blessing thank you you guys thanking you in a special way and see you in my next video bye